My name is Jack Kerrigan, and I'm the director of the Pediatric Epilepsy Program at the Barrow Neurological Institute at Phoenix Children's Hospital Great. in Phoenix, USA. So uh, a hypothalamic hematoma is a congenital tumor. Uh, it, it's not a cancer, but a, a mass, an abnormal mass malformation that occurs at the base of the brain, usually at the bottom of the hypothalamus, uh, which is the, the bottom of, of the brain, uh, which is a part of the brain that has a lot to do with uh, basic uh, functions of the body in terms of controlling your temperature and your appetite, uh, thirst mechanisms, a, a, lot of, a lot of those kinds of functions that we don't think about very much. And the hypothalamic hamartoma is a, a small lesion that, that you're born with uh, that, that's in that area uh, that has the unfortunate property of resulting in uh, seizure activity or epilepsy, which for a lot of patients is very difficult to control. Uh, you, you know, it, it's not at all a common condition. Uh, we have evidence that about two, 1 in 200,000 uh, children in adolescence uh, will have HH with epilepsy. Um, so in the world, maybe there's 10,000 or maybe 20,000 patients. Uh, in uh, the United Kingdom, which is where we are uh, today, there's probably 50 or 60 children uh, that have that condition. You, you know, it, it's a very uh, interesting and a very challenging condition because it is so diverse from patient to patient. I mean, e each patient literally is unique in some way. Um, however, uh, most kids that have the form, most patients that have the form with epilepsy uh, will start having seizures uh, as young children, uh, sometimes as infants, sometimes as newborns. Uh, but it is possible that patients will uh, begin to have seizures for the first time as teenagers or even young adults. The hallmark uh, seizure type uh, the prototypical seizure type that goes along with HH is the gelastic seizure, which is a, a term that means laughing seizure. Uh, some of the uh, patients um, look like they're kind of halfway between laughing and crying. So it's, it usually does not come across as a truly normal laugh, and it's usually out of the blue. It's not related to anything that's happening. So, so most parents will uh, begin to identify that uh, as different from the child's normal laughter. Uh, the, um, what happens though for many patients is they get uh, closer to school age, they can begin to have other types of seizures. And that would be the, the, the uh, types of seizures that are more recognizable to doctors and nurses uh, as, as epilepsy. And, and a lot of times the, uh, the problems that the patient has in terms of their learning and their behavior can, can worsen at the same time that their seizures begin to worsen. Uh, diagnosing uh, HH can be a challenge. Um, we have had patients where the gelastic seizures were misinterpreted as uh, gastroesophageal reflux or colic. That would be a common uh, misdiagnosis. Um, over time, uh, particularly when parents are persistent about uh, letting their pediatrician know that there's a problem, uh, then, then eventually it'll come around to a diagnosis of epilepsy, usually when a, a brain scan is done. Uh, an MRI scan will usually see, see the, uh, the lesion. You know, uh, um, because it's a rare condition, and a lot of times uh, their individual primary care doctor may never have had another patient with it. I think it's really important uh, for families uh, to uh, seek a referral center. So this would be an example where kind of going to the big city to see the specialty doctors uh, is a good idea. That, that's not trying to cut out their local primary care doctor, of course. Uh, and then the other, other thing is to, um, is to reach out for the parent network that exists for this condition, uh, which is called HOPE for Hypothalamic Hamartoma, or HHH. And um, 
And, and that's a good source of information, a great source of information for uh, parents, especially when they're new to the condition. And they'll be talking with other, uh, they'll be interacting uh, with other uh, families that are, that are dealing with a lot of the same issues.